anything will be better than that. Um, I guess, you know, um, had we not played so badly in the back end, we would have been a lot, a lot more competitive against Clemson. And, uh, and obviously last week we, we were competitive. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I guess you would say statistically, yes. Um, you know, I know we've practiced hard most every day, and we, it really hasn't been. Today there was probably a little bit of, um, you know, finals and tests and papers. I could tell those guys were a little bit fatigued by, um, by the school. Just, just tell that in the meetings and whatnot. But they were trying to focus, and we, and we uh, you know, we're trying to have a plan that can line up to all the different crazy stuff they do. So we're uh, you know, just trying to get ready. I mean, I look at it one day at a time so much yeah. that, and you know, I don't know if that's a good way to be, but that's the only way I know how to survive this. In your experience, though, having a game like Saturday, the guys play pretty well, does that help just kind of have a game to point to? It does. If Well, I, when you give up 34 points, you know, obviously not. And I know, I mean, we all know that it really wasn't 34, but it was. And, uh you know, the pick six, we we got to we got to hold them the field goals when they get the ball. I don't care if they get it on the one foot line. We need to have an objective to hold them the field goals, and uh, we weren't very good with that. Um, you know, so we did. They didn't score every touchdown, every trip in the red zone, but too many times. So we've got to find a way to stop that. And uh, you know, still too many. You know, you got a guy moving to a gap. He gets reeks when he's actually going the direction, and, and guys not lining up just exactly perfect, exactly, exactly perfect. You know, we're just that's what's frustrating thing is if we're not just exactly perfect, then you know, we're not, you know, we're not making the play. Um, you know, back end, I think we did a better job. They tried us with all the cross countries and deep routes. They tried all that stuff, and we were way better than we had been all season. So uh, I think we did make progress with that. And we're getting starting to get a little pressure on the quarterback a little bit, so that's helpful. What's the challenge in preparing for Everett Golson? Everett Golson? Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see, his arm, his legs, and they do a really good job of, of giving him passes that, um, you know, not saying he doesn't do a good job throwing the ball deep, I and mean, he flicks the ball 50, 60 yards. Um, they max protect when they do that, so they give him time, so he's not strained by a pass rush. Uh, he do, he is almost uh, almost impossible to catch back in the pocket with normal defensive line. Um, you know, he gets away from everybody. So, uh, you know, it's uh, we're going to have to cover, and guys, are, you know, when we do cover, we're, it's it's going to be a, a dynamic of you know, there's six gaps, and unless you bring six people you can't cover the six gaps where you do that you're in zero man coverage back in the back end which we can't do so uh, you know he's got there's there are gaps open we're going to have to do a great job with the front of just kind of corralling him and not letting him get down the field but you better cover him first That's you've already first taken you've already taken on two really good quarterbacks at ECU and clemson what, yeah they've how different they've is set the, those guys? they've set bars for themselves yeah is he yeah. maybe more challenging well you know i i take east carolina that guy's really good but we helped him i mean come on they throw a hits route and we four times we miss tackles and they run 50 yards yeah. that's not I mean, that's just throwing a hits route and he threw into double coverage and completed the second pass of the game into double coverage you know i mean yeah that guy was better than our guys um, you know, Clemson. We gave him. We gave him a couple of freebies because we screwed up and didn't cover the. Didn't let guys go. So we better do a whole lot better in this game. And uh, that's that's a challenge for our guys is to not get meshed up on all the crossing routes and deep routes. So. Is there a position group that you feel like on the defensive side of things has made the most progress so far? Uh, I'd say in the last couple of weeks the front has, but I think they've all improved a little bit. I mean, from Clemson to. Virginia Tech, the secondary did. You know, what we got to do is start playing as a group better. And uh, you know, I challenged them a bunch today. You know, we're, we're trying to do some things to help us. We're trying to uh, earmark some of their formations. And we're trying to do what good teams are able to do, what experienced teams are able to do, and, and uh, use what's between your ears a little bit to help yourself. And uh, we don't to be seen whether or not we can do that. We're going to have to ID some of their formation. So it's. This time 
Yeah, I was going to say. Are you coaching 